I tried to cast some aluminum bronze and some really weird stuff happened. Frankly, I'm more excited by this complete failure than if it had been a complete success. I want to make a glasses case to protect these lab goggles. I could make something simple and effective out of wood or steel, but I would rather make something a lot more difficult and a lot more elegant out of aluminum bronze and copper. Here's a basic design. I made a simple open face plaster mold, mainly to test the concept. The hole in the center will hopefully collect the dross. I will melt this aluminum wire along with this copper wire in this steel end cap. The wire must be cut, masked, and compacted before it is usable. I do the same with the aluminum wire. When it is heated, the varnish starts to burn off of the copper wire. More copper is added and it goes back in the furnace. Once the copper is molten, the aluminum wire is added and it goes back in to remelt everything. This will tell me when it's back up to temperature. For some reason, the aluminum is refusing to alloy. It's just sitting on top. It's not quite ready. But it should be st needs to be stirred a little bit. Right here. Before I play the rest of this clip, understand that nothing that's about to happen was anticipated. And you can see something really weird happened. Is it cold enough to touch it? And for some reason, it puffed up a whole bunch. The metals didn't mix properly for a little while. And then when I stirred it, it puffed up, made a massive, and there were sparks and it just, who knows? that. It's hollow too. Look at that. Okay. At the time I was actually quite confused as to what happened, although now I'm pretty sure I know what caused these unexpected results. I think that it got hot enough for the aluminum to combust, and then when I stirred it, I broke the protective coating of aluminum oxide on the surface, allowing for it to rapidly combust, throwing aluminum sparks all over the place. I still don't know why the aluminum didn't alloy, though. The plaster must have had some sort of residual moisture in it, so that when the hot copper hit it, it released steam, making it bubble up into the weird shape that it formed.
That was really fun, but I'm going to try again. This time, I'm stirring the molten copper with the aluminum wire to try to get it to alloy. Coppery, it is. <laughs> huh, that's cool. I'm going to try one more time. That's it. There's a lot of slime. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, look at how bright that was. See how it's a lot more, well, for a moment at least, it was hotter right there. That is a lot of slag. Yeah. And your bar is even smaller. Well, it's thicker this time, too. I don't know if you'll be able to make much out of that bar. Yeah, I don't know. This bar is a lot more mass than that one. You just poured. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna dump it in the water. Quenching. Next, I'm going to try heating and forging the copper bars just to see how thin I can get them. Last time I used my blast furnace, it burned a large hole in the side. I'm going to have to replace the coffee can before I can use it. When something doesn't work, hit it with a steel pipe. There we go. This is also extremely effective for getting people to pay up. Unfortunately, I did not film the hammering of the copper bar, but this is as far as I got. It took a long time, and the end broke, and I got some significant cracking in the middle of it. This is what the other one looked like. This is the copper and aluminum that I spilled. As you can see, they are not at all mixed and very, very separate, except for the end here, where you can see a little bit of gold. That would be aluminum bronze. Here are the pieces of the ballooned copper. I still can't believe how cool this is. Completely hollow, super lightweight. For comparison, this is a piece of aluminum bronze I melted in the blast furnace, although the steel crucible I was using for that burned through and this poured down into the coals, forming the shape that it is now. This is the slag from the second, I believe, attempt. And as you can see, there's a bit of copper still in it, a bit of aluminum, a lot of copper oxide and aluminum oxide, and a little bit of aluminum bronze. Before I go, here are some quick clips from possible future videos. Sometimes you just need to give it a boost.
I'll leave you with some bonus footage of throwing charcoal dust into the blast furnace.